this is uh, Dr. Jerry Cuomo. Uh, I'm here today. I'm seeing patient Ronald Screen. He presented with a fractured IMZ bridge, uh, which he will bring to the office um, later on. Uh, we're looking at the two abutments that are in place. And um, Ron, if you can just yeah, stay open now, we'll just use our suction and go in there. I'm going to identify uh, the the two uh, implant bodies. Uh, we know now from initially looking at Ron's case that the we're going to call these uh, implants numbers 19 and 20, with uh, 21 being a missing edentulous area. Uh, we're going to look at two th uh, implant number 20 first, and by viewing that, our examination of the threads show that there is debris, partial debris, inside this implant, of which more than likely could be cleaned. We know that the threads are somewhat worn, but they don't look like uh, they're in any way sh um, touched with any instrument at this point. So we're going to move and compare the threads of this implant with that of the implant next door to it. That would be namely to uh, implant number number 20, or excuse me, number 19. Now I'm just going to also make a note that there is some calculus that formed on the inner rim which we'll have to remove. Okay, now number 19 is the next implant and obviously there's remnants of where the clinician was trying to remove the plastic IME and uh, so it's located in the threads. I'll just demonstrate there's a there's a little bit right there but it, it actually extends all the way down into the base and I guess the attempt was to, to go in to this tooth with possibly a rotary at the time. Um, one of the walls is somewhat worn now from that attempt and but not penetrated to the outside so there's no communication that I can see from the inside of the implant to the outside. The question is will that area be um, used to, can we use that again, can we thread through there? One of the ways to find out is to clean out by hand the rest of the plastic and then from there possibly uh, just take a plastic part like an impression coping and just try to twist it down gently with some lubricant to see if it would engage all the way. If success then the question would arise uh, can we put all the parts back together or maybe with a metal um, threaded component so we hope that uh, we have established some success hopefully full success and not just partial. That's it. Um, We'll ask the patient if uh, and when we would go ahead and schedule for him. We'll make the attempt, but there's some obvious issues on tooth number or implant number 19, which include uh, aberrations in the threads themselves and could make the uh, implant uh, unusable. So we'll find out. All right. That's it. Dr. Cuomo signing off.